Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! Peekaboo, I see you, because I'm YouTube. Boost! Famous Now, available in 2029, the album, Dad F. Hey little thing, let me light your candle, cause I hoop mama, I'm so hard to handle now. Boost! Mess around. <laughs> yes, I am. I always say me uh, mess around, and then people are like, uh, Peter, it's yes, I am in the comments. I don't care, okay? I don't care. Blinded by the light. Did a douche, and now I'm ready for my Saturday night. Put in the comment section below your most uh, common song that you always get the lyrics wrong to. It just doesn't matter, does it? Back in the day, I told this story before. But my good Jitty and I, we would uh, drive to downtown Indianapolis to go out to all of the hot clubs. We thought they were hot back then. But anyway, she and I would uh, be in the front seat and we would be like, uh, we had this little, these little dance routines. My good Jitty, Tanya and I, we still do that. Like we make up little, you know, do you do that with your good Jitty? <laughs> like when you're driving down the street and it's like, blinded by the light. Well, I can't act that one out. You know what? But anyway, um, so we would have all these little dance moves to the songs, you know? And our favorite song at the time was that song by The Bomb. And it was like, these sounds fall into my mind. But we thought the words were, big town boogie on a Saturday night. So anyway, we were driving downtown one night. Saturday night, probably. And we had picked out our outfits and we thought we had looked, so we went to the tanning bed, you know. We were, we did a little pre, you know what? I don't do that anymore because I'm sober. But anyway, so my good, maybe I was sober then too. So it, we wouldn't have done all that pre, you know what? And, but anyway, my good, the, we, we had a third good Jenny and she was sitting in the back seat. She always thought she was so fine, okay? She thought she was too fine for wine and too cool for school. So she was sitting in the back seat, you know, all back there smoking probably club cigarette or something. And we were sitting there, me and my good Judy were like, <laughs> <laughs> big, big town boogie on a Saturday night. And she goes, um, the words are, these sounds fall into my mind. And we both were kind of like, big town boogie on a Saturday. Girl, who cares? It doesn't matter if you get the words right or not. How are you? Oh, Lord. How are you? <laughs> How are I am? Woo! If you go over and you watch my Starbucks review today, I did not just have one shaken espresso. I had Two shaken espressos! Oh my God. So I am so ready for the weekend. And you know what makes you uh, really ready for the weekend? A little bit of this Lunar Beauty lip gloss you put it on. Somebody in my video the other day, they said something about, they're like, why are Peter's lips so shiny? And I'm like, that's the gods of Lunar Beauty. Well, Manny Mua. Manny Mua is basically the god of Lunar Beauty. But anyway, shining down on my lips. Blinded by the light. Anyway, all right, let's get into today's video. Today, I have so much drama to talk about. You know what? <laughs> drama mama forgot, <laughs> drama papa. Drama papa forgot about all the birthday shout outs. So hold on a second. You guys, I was just looking for receipts right now on Miss Tana Mojo, because I like people had sent me some stuff. And I was like, where is this receipt? And I'm going through there. I have, I have got to go through and clean out my phone. I have the most foolish receipts in the entire world. Stuff that nobody would care about. I mean, mostly to do with Nikita Dragon, okay? Nobody cares about Nikita Dragon. I know. She's the most boring, exciting person. She's like, uh, I'm the baddest person in the world. Girl, don't nobody care, okay? Don't nobody care. You're boring. You're absolutely boring. So I got to go in here and delete all these receipts about Nikita Dragon. <laughs> nobody wants to watch those videos about her anyway. Okay, let me get in here and let me up oh, there's the chairs I'm gonna get from my front patio uh, let me get in here a little meme I sent to my husband okay where is my receipts my receipts Whitney did I say this one already Angelica no Angelica reached out to me she tweeted me and she said my birthday April 18th and listen I know I'm not gonna remember it okay so I'm saying it now happy birthday uh, Angelica I hope you have the most amazing birthday in the entire world and then hold on, woo, what is this? Melissa said on my, she commented on my video yesterday, she said, my birthday is tomorrow! So happy birthday, Melissa. I hope you have the most amazing birthday in the entire world. And Brian David, who always comments on all of my videos, on all of my channels and tweets me and stuff like that, he said he needs a little bit of Gloria. I think I got your number. There you go. Is that the words I don't even remember? But I did love that song back in the day. Woo! It is hotter than a sinner on church on Sunday who needs Jesus. She's not a Christian. Boost. All right, so let's get into the drama today. 
Oh my God, I surprised even myself. Gloria! <laughs> I did love that song. That's gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. And you know what? That's what I get because yesterday, so many people messaged me and said, now I have that. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a love and I know that it's all mine. Oh. Whoa. So many people were like, I have had that song stuck in my head all day long. Now because of Brian, I'm gonna have that song. Gloria, I think I got your number. I got your number. Okay, listen, I do. And it's not very nice, okay? Y'all are not very nice sometimes. And sometimes you're fantastic and I love you too. It just depends on the day, right? We can all of us be surly librarians, you know. What was, the, what was I going to say? Uh, surly Susans and bitter Bettys. We can all be that. But why not be a pretty Peter? I, that's what I say. Oh, my Lord. And thank God that, you know. My name's not Richard, because then my code would be, you know what. All right, so let's get into this today. Woo, this is off the rails. I have two things I want to talk about. I have some things that I want to say today. First, we're going to talk about Tana Mojo and how Tana Mojo has retracted her support uh, for James Charles in the past. And that Kat Tinbarg, I hope I'm not mispronouncing her name. She is the, the writer that exposes all these people from Insider Magazine. Um, she kind of called it out today. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And then I also have this TikTok that I found that somebody sent to me, I think, that somebody was calling out Tana Mojo's merchandise. Have you guys seen this? Okay, well, I'm going to show it to you in just a second. Well, first of all, here, let's just show this one to you real quick. This is somebody, a, a surly customer of Tana Mojo's. I actually got a lot of messages, too, about her necklace, which she's bragging about on Twitter today, which is kind of funny, because people sent me pictures of what it looks like when you get it in the mail, and it just, I wouldn't say it's the highest quality. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? You want a pearl necklace? A jewelry pearl necklace, not that kind of pearl necklace. I'm not saying I've never had one, but I, not that, I'm talking about Tana Mojo's pearl necklaces, okay? If, if you're, I, I saw pictures of it. I'm not saying it looks like costume junk, but it looks like costume junk. So anyway, to me, but you, you spend your hard-earned money on what you want, okay? Just like this gal right here, she spent her hard-earned money on Tana Mojo's Valentine's Day lingerie. <laughs> Imagine that merch for your 15-year-old audience, okay? Here you go. Am I the only one that was stupid enough to buy Tana Mojo's Valentine's Day lingerie sets for fucking $30? I mean, is this kind of on me? Yes, based on her track record with other things like fucking TanaCon. Um, should I have expected this to happen? Probably. And I say that as a fan who recognizes that she can be problematic. I just saw these heart cutouts and I'm just a dumb bitch and I saw them, thought they were so cute and I had to have it. I don't want this video to be taken down, but you can look at her Tana is Uncensored Instagram page and the ones that she's wearing looks like this. That's definitely not what I got. So just for proof, this is her set. Also, I just got these today on March 24th. I bought them on February 11th and they shipped directly from China. <laughs> Those are the hearts. It literally is just, they just cut they just cut the lace, like a fucking hole in the lace. That's supposed to be the hearts. My expectations were low, but it is so bad. First of all, this is a 2XL. Look how fucking small that is. Like, what? But also, like, it's just so bad. Girl, I'm sorry, but I want my money back. When she pulled out the panties, I don't even like that word panties, okay? I don't like panties. I don't like juicy. I don't like meaty. I don't like what a uh, juicy, panty, meaty, beefy, and I definitely don't like those words used together in a sentence, okay? Never on a good day on a Sunday. Y'all are not Christians if you're using those words together, and you sure as hell ain't good citizens of the world either. But when she brought out them panties at the end, oh my God, I thought, God, I lost it so much. I, I thought that was hilarious. So anyway, I love that TikTok. So I'll go link her below. I don't know what her name is. Amy something. I'll link her below. Okay. So I saw this. This was all going around the Twitter today. Hold on. I have it pulled up on my Twitter. See the receipts. Whitney. There's my neighbor's dog. Oh. It's never a good Peter Mon drama video unless my neighbor's dog is howling in the background. You know what I mean? I'm a world famous YouTuber of the world. Don't think I'm not. Okay. So Kat, uh, she retweeted this tweet that uh, Tana Mojo put out in, hold on a second, May 4th, 2019 at 7.21 uh, p.m. Now, if you don't, if you need a little history lesson, this is when this Gage guy came out and made these allegations against James Charles, yada, 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 flew him out there to Coachella. It's the whole Coachella mix. Mix. <laughs> mix. Whole Coachella mess, okay? That was like right around the same time that the whole sugar bear hair thing happened, right? So, I, James Charles went to both weekends. I think this was like right after that. Okay, so the tweet that Tana Mojo put out was, 
I watched you, and this is uh, saying this to Gage, okay? I watched you lead on and kiss my friend for a whole weekend, and when he realized you got scared and made a video lying and accusing him of being a, uh, you know the word, okay? Legit watching you lie like this and get away with it breaks my heart. He's a person too. You and I know the truth. So, um, Kat goes in there and she sh shows this tweet and she says, going back through the archives and my goodness, things have changed since May 2019, okay? Because now Tana Mojo is friends with Gage and she is not supporting James Charles. She's not following him on any social media, all that kind of stuff. Tana Mojo responds to this and she says, 100% manipulated and begged to tweet that. Now, she doesn't say by who, okay? But I can't imagine who else she's talking about other than James Charles. But I could be wrong, okay? 100% manipulated and begged to tweet that. I was defending someone that was my friend at the time, James Charles, and believed them. Sad to see. I later reconciled with Gage and discussed it, apologized, heard his side of the story, and now I call him one of my closest friends. Things change. Well, you know what's interesting to me about that is that Tina Mojo, with his big, a huge platform, and I'm going to go in here and hear what some of the comments are in just a second, Biggest, hugest platform that, biggest, hugest, big, huge platform that she has. She didn't feel any need to come out since she came out so hard against Gage to come out and say something against James Charles. And I really, really think that the numbers game is this fear factor. Like Tana's like, if I come out against James, it's going to look so bad. I'm going to start up all this drama. I don't want this drama with James Charles because then the drama is going to be about me. That he's going to point the finger at me. What does James Charles have on Tana Mojo? Who knows? Okay. But I think this is how they all operate behind the scenes. I think they're all so afraid of calling each other out. You know, now we're starting to see stuff, you know, that like Manny and Laura, you know, yes, they had their own problematic issues that came out after the fact. But at the time with Jeffree Star, you know, people wondered, well, what does Jeffree Star have on Manny and Laura that Manny and Laura don't come out and say anything in, in retaliation to all this? Makes you wonder what Jeffree Star has on all of them, you know? Makes you wonder why people that you would hang out as friends would keep receipts on each other. I don't do that with my friends. I don't understand that, okay? It's not like my friend Tanya Jean texts me something, and then I'm, like, keeping a receipt of it to use against her later. Well, you know what? On such and such date, you said, who, who does that? That is no kind of friend, okay? Like, that's weird. Then if you're having that kind of relationship with somebody, I don't think that you should probably consider them a friend, you know? But the other thing to me is, if you have such a huge change in how you feel. Tana Mojo called this person the worst thing you can call somebody on the internet, okay? That could damage your reputation for a very long time. Why would she not? I mean, down the road, he could be trying to get a job. Tana Mojo might be out of his life. He might not be on social media anymore. He goes to get a job. They put in his name and T Tana Mojo's tweet from 2019 comes up. Why would you not come out publicly and make a statement and say, hey, you know what? I was wrong about Gage. He is not this person. In fact, James Charles manipulated me into making a tweet. He told me he wanted to make me the tweet. He want told me he wanted me to make the tweet. Yada, yada, yada. Here's the truth of what happened. Because they're all so afraid of the repercussions of behind the scenes, what everybody knows or doesn't know. This is why for me, back in the day, I'd say, oh, I... Thank a million thanks if I met these people. I don't want to know any of these people, okay? I think they're all just a bunch of snakes on the train. I don't think they really have anybody's back. You know, and this is the thing. Tana turned <laughs> over James for Gage. She'd do the same thing to Gage over somebody else, okay? These are people that constantly stab each other in the back. They don't really care. Their friendships don't mean anything to them whatsoever. They don't, eat, they don't have clue one on how to be a friend to anybody, okay? So anyway, sometimes being a friend, I don't know. So, so then underneath here, this is the comments. <laughs> sometimes being a friend is being a friend, you know? Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Watch the Golden Girls. You'll learn everything you need to know. All right. So underneath here, underneath her tweet where she says 100% manipulated and begged to tweet that. So what now she's saying is that she's, you know, she was made to do this. You know, she's 100% responsible for what she tweets out. So anyway, somebody said, of course things changed. She was Tana Paul then. Um, someone said, okay, then what is your take now on the situation? Which I think is a good question. Someone said, that's on you though. Stop blindly defending people you consider friends. And then they call the name, have friends in real life, you know? Those friends convince themselves there's no way my friend could do that. Drag the actual victim to filth over your large platforms and say, oopsie, when it comes out to be true. Someone said, I mean, if she isn't lying, it sounds like she wasn't blindly defending. She said she was manipulated, which I wouldn't be surprised about since James tries to make everyone doubt that he ever did things. Okay, it goes on. And then this person continues to defend James. Uh, so then this person says, okay, 
But why didn't Tiana come out and publicly vindicate Gage? There is power in her tweets because of how large her platform is. She may have reconciled in private, but her narrative about James was still very public. True. Absolutely true. Somebody said probably because coming for James Charles when he seemed untouchable probably would resulted in legal action, which that could have been as well. Someone said she doesn't have to come for him, just says she wrongfully accused uh, Gage of lying. There's nothing illegal about that. She doesn't even have to mention James' name to say that. I 100% agree. She could have come out and said, I retract my statement. I should have said what I said about Gage. Absolutely. You know, and, and I understand, like, I kind of like to hear Gage's side of the story now. You know, I kind of like to hear him say, you know, like, this is how I felt when everybody was coming for me when, you know, whatever. Who knows what the story was behind the scenes. So that's that, and it goes on and on and on. And someone said, I bet he made Tati come back what she said about James. I do want to say something yesterday. I made the video and I was talking about Tati and I said she retract, I said she retracted her statement. I got a lot of comments from people that said that she did not retract her statement, that she stood by what she said in the video. I stand by what I say, but James Charles and I have made up and we're on good terms, which you're absolutely correct about that. I was incorrect. She did not retract her statement. So I, I want to clarify that. And I want to say that I was wrong in my statement about that. At the same time, what's interesting to me is that she says, I don't take back my statement, but we're on good terms, which means she's okay with how James is acting now. Tana Mojo is okay with how people are. Where is it that they're like all okay with this? Like, that's what I don't understand. That's what's so problematic about all of this that I don't really get, you know? Spam risk. I should answer it, shouldn't I? <laughs> Should I? Let's see. Hello? Hello? I don't hear you. Uh, guess I didn't want to talk to me. Anyway, boost. I think that could have made some, for some good video. Okay, the, so Tana Mojo, whatever. I mean, you know, she's about as trustworthy to me. And I mean, she's just like all these influencers. Whatever work be works best for her, she comes out and says. And quite frankly, Tana Mojo is one of the most problematic people out there anyway, okay? She just better get in line behind Nikita Dragon because she's, you know, they're all problematic to me. They, but they're all like such like, ooh, we're bad this and that's and whatever. You're boring. You're all of you boring, okay? Your videos are boring. Your content is boring. You're beautiful. Yes, you are, okay? And I know that people want to live their lives like, but you're boring, okay? You're boring. So anyway, so that was the whole thing to do with uh, Tana Mojo and all that kind of stuff. Now she's back and she's tweeting some other stuff out there. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was um, I saw this thread that was going around on the Shane Dawson thread over on the Shane <laughs> Reddit thread. Okay, <laughs> can't I say that. Well, first of all, I have to tell you what is so funny is that someone said... Um, they go in here. The first thing is, it's interesting, is someone said his profile, I thought this was such a funny thread, and it actually has 640 uh, likes on it, and there's a lot of comments. Someone said his uh, profile picture annoys me so much. LOL. Subtly manipulative. He's just a sweet, uh, soft flower boy, guys. <laughs> Which I thought was kind of funny. And people are like guessing like when he changed it and what it was like before. I honest to God don't remember when Shane Dawson changed his profile picture. But someone said, didn't it used to be a picture of him with intense makeup with a serious look on his face before the cancellation crap? Someone said, I think a screenshot from the There's a Demon in My House video. I forgot what it was before he changed it to this in the middle of all the drama, lol. And said, that's on his Shane Dawson channel. Okay. Uh, they said that's on his Shane Dawson Chanel. <laughs> Not channel. Shut up. Okay. Someone said, you can tell he was trying to embody Garrett, the guy who he stole half his personality from. But mate, no, we know now. Just shush. Someone and said, Garrett, Andrew, and Drew carried that channel. Someone said, yeah, it's true. And Morgan, to a certain extent. I hate that I missed the videos, though. Effing sucks. Someone said, yeah, definitely Morgan, too. It's so upsetting that Drew disappeared. I feel like he loved making content, but didn't uh, like being con connected to Shane so much. Who knows about that? And that's speculation. And it goes on and on, and they guess all this stuff about all that. Okay. Someone said this about his picture, right? Like, nearly all of his previous profile pictures on all of social media had some element of edginess or humor. But now he wants to turn it to the type of pic you post on Facebook, and then your grandma replies, Grandma, sweet boy. Grandma, sweet boy. Oh, my God. I'm totally going to uh, title this video, Shane Dawson, Grandma, sweet boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, now my grandma went to prison. Okay, she did twice too for embezzlement. She probably wouldn't have said that. No, she did though. I couldn't do anything wrong in her eyes. 
<laughs> Imagine that. No, you know what I mean? Listen, if my grandma was alive today, listen, we would all be hustling and I'd have me a reality show about it, okay? It'd be called Mob Grandmas, <laughs> like Mob Wives, and I would get to meet Trina. Oh, and I would have got to meet Big Ange, all because of my grandma. Oh my God. But life didn't turn out that way for me. You know, when life hands you a lemon, just pitch it in the trash. Ain't nobody like lemonade anyway, okay? But why are you taking scraps and turning them into something good? I don't think that's right. I don't. If you want apple juice, why are you trying to turn a lemon into lemonade? Don't throw it in the trash and go get you another apple. Anyway, life's too short to have something you don't want. If you don't want lemonade, don't have lemonade. I want a damn reality show with my grandma, but she's gone, so I can't. Okay. So this person says, right, like nearly all of this, what is going on with me today? I've lost my mind. Okay, someone said, right, like nearly all of his previous uh, profile pictures. This Pete, okay, did you guys watch the video where I said that I had to like Google stuff and that I didn't know what a T-H-O-T was? Oh my God, that hoe over there, I did not know, I didn't know. People were like, oh, you're a, t you're a thought. I was like, oh, I am, what is that, hey, what does that mean? And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh my god, people are calling me that word. That's what they call Nikita Dragon. Well, she, that's what she calls herself, though. I, that's not very nice. Don't call somebody a hoe over there, okay? I mean, listen, just don't. Like, in Indiana, you'll probably get hit for saying something like that. But this is another one of those. That I, I had to look that one up on Urban Dictionary because I didn't know what it meant, right? And so, over here, this is another one I probably, if I didn't kind of have an idea, this PFPS's, Profile Pictures. <laughs> That's another one I'd have to look at. Uh, okay, Grandma's Sweet Boy. I know on the outside it looks like we pick on him for meaningless SHI toot. You really have to look at this with context. It's covert and calculated, and it absolutely 100% is. And that's when you are done being deceived by Shane Dawson and the whole act that was Shane Dawson before that. It's like once you stop seeing the two o'clock in the morning like advertisements, don't buy my merch. You don't have to buy my. You don't have to buy my goo. My goop. What's that stuff called? The goo. What's that stuff? Slimes. You don't have to buy my slime. Don't you don't have to buy my slimes. Don't buy my slimes. No, I didn't buy your slimes. They're gross. They're nasty. Nobody wants that crap. Anyway, you can't even give them away over there in your merch shop no more, okay? I mean, I can't give anything away in my merch shop. I'm not. I'm selling it. I'm not giving it away. I don't got no slimes over there, okay? Hey, some of these mugs got some of these mugs, but there ain't no slime on me. So anyway, anyway, this person says, right, like he's a rich, famous YouTuber. I know you have professionally shot and edited pictures, but he still wants to act like he's poor and just like us. <laughs> Somebody said, I love that relatable is poor. <laughs> you know what I mean? I totally relate though, I do. Somebody said he can't even bring himself to pull off a fake uh, soft boy smile. What is a soft boy, boy smile? I don't even know what that really means. Uh, someone said we were drawn in by the persona, not the person. <laughs> this just turned into an asthma channel. Okay, let's just say I emphasize greatly with your title. And someone said, oh, are you an empath like Shane? <laughs> And someone said, ha, that was actually unintentional, God. And someone said, still can't believe he has 20 million subscribers. Um, and someone said, a lot are probably inactive. Someone said, I feel like a bunch of these those people just forgot to unsubscribe. Or they're waiting around to see if he comes back and what they're going to do then. Who knows, you know? Someone said, the minute he got dragged uh, by the Smiths, I thought that meant the band. <laughs> Girlfriend in a coma, I know. I know it's serious. That was like my favorite band in high school was the Smiths. You know what I mean? Okay, so anyway, but they're talking about like, you know, Jada Pinkett Smith and all that, Will Smith. The minute he got dragged by the Smiths, he changed his serious edgy picture to this as if it proves he's a good person. Does he think we're stupid? For I thought you meant the Smith. <laughs> That's from Horrible Historian. <laughs> okay, someone said I had the same thought. Me too. Someone said, I imagine Morrissey calling him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I live that so many of us thought that it was like the band, the Smiths. Someone said, I'm envisioning a Shane and Morrissey feud and now I'm laughing. Anyway, anyway, that's all I got today for this Friday afternoon. I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of that. Let me know what you think about all that in the comment section below. If you have bought some Tana Man Manju, if you, if you have bought some Tana Mongoose uh, merchandise, Please let me know the quality of that in the comment section below. Do a full review. I would love to hear it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.